we are going to show you how to make these very retro fortune tellers. Do you remember these from when you were a kid? Your kids will love them. Keep watching and we'll show you how to make them. For this project you will need some A4 paper or thin card, some scissors, some pens and a selection of stickers. Start by folding one of the corners of the paper diagonally to meet the opposite edge. Cut the paper along the fold. Open up the paper and fold the opposite corners, then open up again. Take each corner and fold it neatly into the centre. Turn the paper over, then fold the corners into the centre again. Fold in half to finish. To decorate, add stickers to each corner of the fortune teller for kids to spell out. You could use stickers in different colours as an alternative. Then turn the fortune round and add stickers on the other side or use pens to create different coloured sections. Finally, open up each of the four sections and write something inside. This could be a fortune, a fitness challenge, a dare or a positive message. Fold the fortune teller back up. Insert your fingers and you can play. Everybody loves rainbows at the moment, so we decided to make a tissue paper version complete with little raindrops with positive words at the bottom. For this project you will need some corrugated card, some coloured tissue paper, some paint, some glue, some pom-poms, some wool and some blue coloured card. Begin by sketching out a rainbow onto corrugated card. Cut this out. Then separate the rainbow into six sections using pencil. Roughly paint each section. You don't have to paint the card, but it does give a crisper final result. Bunch up small pieces of tissue paper, then add glue to each section of your rainbow and stick the tissue paper and pom-poms on top. Continue until all the card is covered. Cut out six raindrops from blue card Add a positive word to each raindrop. Glue wool to the back of the raindrops, then attach them to the bottom of the rainbow. Glue a loop of wool to the top of the rainbow so that you can hang it up. So there we have it, a really, really beautiful tissue paper rainbow. Today we're going to show you how to make some really simple pebble people. Keep watching and we'll show you how. You will need some pebbles, some paint, some rock pens, some glue, some wiggly eyes, a little bit of Mod Podge and some pom-poms. Begin by painting a skin coloured base coat onto your pebbles. Leave them to dry. Add some wiggly eyes. Then take your rock pens and add some facial and hair details to your people. For if you want your pebbles to last a little bit longer and be a bit glossier, you can add some Mod Podge. Then glue on some pom-poms for a finishing touch. these for every single member of your family or your friends, pets, zoo animals, whatever you like. Cardboard tube farm animals! Keep watching and we'll show you how to make them. You will need some cardboard tubes, some paint and a brush, some coloured card, glue, a permanent pen and some wiggly eyes. Start by painting a base colour onto the tubes. Sketch the outline of your animal's features in pencil, ignoring the eyes for now, and then paint. Add definition with some black pen, then attach some wiggly eyes. Cut ears from coloured card and glue inside the top of the tube to finish. So there we have it, cardboard tube farm animal. We're going to show you how to make these really simple air dry clay fossils. Keep watching and we'll show you how to make them. You will need some air dry clay, some paint, 
a rolling pin, some small objects like toys, buttons and shells, a cookie cutter and some Mod Podge. Start by rolling out some air dry clay to a thickness of about 1cm. Then take a small toy or whatever you want to print and press it firmly into the clay. Make sure to leave some space around the print for your cutter. Carefully remove the toy, then cut out the shape with the cookie cutter and continue in the same way for the rest of the fossils. Remove the excess clay, then smooth the fossils with a little bit of water. Leave them overnight to dry. Then if you like, you can paint your fossils or just leave them natural. Finish with a slick of Mod Podge for a little bit of gloss. There are loads more crafts over on the Hobbycrafts Ideas Hub, so make sure you check them out.